back to my channel. Happy 2021. OMG. I did not expect for this to be how I start <laughs> my first video of 2021. But there have just been things happening and I'm like, you know what? I don't even care. I'm gonna get the camera and tell them all about it. So, if this is your first time on my channel, welcome. My name is Gabrielle, I also go by Gaby. And here on the channel, we are Miss GCH. And I am so excited that you are back in 2021 viewing my channel. Um, those of you who stuck around, um, those of you who are new, I am so grateful that you are here. Um, I've got big goals this year, you guys. Um, if you've been around, you know about them. If not, you will soon find out. I don't, I don't even know how to start this. I feel like this is about to be the most random video ever. I've actually been vlogging for like a week. Yeah, I think I've been vlogging for like a week. And I keep telling myself like, I'm gonna get it up this weekend. I'm gonna get it up this weekend. I've been vlogging actually for a while. It's never been a season. We've not seen Jaira. for so many reasons, okay? I was supposed to been, have started this vlog. Actually, I've been kind of recording a little bit, but I was supposed to intro it this morning before I had to get like in the thick of my work so you guys would know what was happening, and now we're just here. I am disheveled, y'all. I know, I have a lot of explaining to do. No one knows what's happening right now, so I'm going to fill you in. Welcome, everyone, to the new year. I am so excited to just get started with this camera. And I miss you guys. Ah, I just have so much to tell you. There's just so much to be said in this vlog. I've actually been thinking about it all night for a couple days and I was like, you know what? Tomorrow I'm picking up my camera. So you guys are probably wondering why I'm in this kind of format of just like our video is kind of all over the place so far. And yeah, I want to propose to you guys something that is going to change here on my channel for a little while, for the foreseeable future. I'm kind of making a shift on my channel for the time being to really a vlog style channel. Um, and I'm kind of nervous about this because you all love my sit down videos and we will still do them. Um, we will still talk, like I will still have those moments, moments with you guys. So if you're like, sis, I came on here for other things and you're thinking about hitting that unsubscribe button, I promise you don't go anywhere. Like, 
I will try to please everyone, but right now, I really need to focus on me and what I need. I really wanna document this last leg of my journey to my PhD, like this dissertation process, and just, it's such a testimony already. Y'all, I just have so much to share with you, oh my gosh. <laughs> I just feel like I'm gonna be talking for 20 minutes in this one clip, which is not the point of a vlog. I'm already ruining it. But I just have so much to tell you guys, okay? Um, so I'm really excited to be able to document this last leg of my PhD journey because I've documented it kind of throughout the years, but I really wanna have like these memories for myself to remember like where I was at, what my headspace was during this journey, what I went through, because it's, it's definitely gonna be a ride, y'all. But like, God is already doing so much with this journey and I'm like, I want to be able to look back at these videos and remember, remember this phase and just watch this testimony unfold and you guys will get to do it with me. I am actually still at work. Um, you guys were, I, I brought you in on my, my dance uh, break. I tried to, that's something else that I'm trying to add to my year, to my routine to just put person first. Like that's really my focus for 2021 is like, I've neglected myself in pursuit of um, academia and degrees and you know trying to please so much that I've really neglected myself and it really came to a head in December as we all saw so it really is me just trying to remember that I'm human remembering to move my body to get up and use the bathroom to eat breakfast to make a hot cup of coffee which I'm really thinking about making another one because it was so fire that salted caramel k-pod that y'all saw if, if you can get your hands on one, I don't think Wegmans is anywhere in Ohio. Being here in Virginia is the first time I've seen a Wegmans. Uh, but it's very much like a Whole Foods grocery store sort of kind of. So if you can get your hands on some salted caramel uh, K-Cups for your curry, baby. And the vanilla caramel uh, creamer that I used. I got that from Aldi. Yeah, anyways. All this to say, um, I'm in a pretty good place. So my internship work is from home. This is an awful angle. Okay, bear with me for the first couple of these vlogs, y'all, because I have to find, I have to find the angles in my home, okay? I'm used to just setting up one thing and not having to worry about it. I don't like this, okay. What was I gonna tell y'all? See, dang it, now I forgot. Oh, I work, <laughs> I work from home mostly. With my internship, I do have to go in and test students. For those who don't know, I'm in a um, school psychology program and my doctoral internship is an APA internship um, working as a school psychologist in a local school district here. So, oh no, am I out of my car? <gasps> oh, I think I'm out of my caramel. Oh no, Jesus, no. I am so sad right now. Ah! I found one more. I know this is my last one. I'm sure it is. That's okay, we'll get some more. I got some caramel vanilla and caramel macchiato. This one is good too, but this one's on its way out. But it's Archer Farms caramel macchiato from Target. Um, and then I have Starbucks caramel. Are you noticing a theme here? I love caramel coffee, okay? I don't really like coffee, so the taste of caramel distracts me. Anyways, I am an intern in the local school district, so I do have to go in to test students um every once in a while but then all of the administrative email meetings everything is like google me and zoom i work from home so this little area over here is my sorry it's kind of a mess right now there's a lot happening this is my office workspace this is my dissertation workspace this is my youtube workspace it's all it's all in there i'm going to make my coffee we're gonna knock out some more work and then i'm gonna tell you guys about how my winter break went because stories for you. You're probably wondering because I think I put it in the title. You're probably waiting for me to tell you how that happened. So I will. But I have to do some more work and then I'll check back in. Okay? Okay. Yeah, 2020 definitely did get worse before it got better. Um, I actually ended up testing positive and that was so like the week after Christmas the second week of my break the full week of my break I actually ended up having to come back here to Virginia to quarantine um, at the time it was really so I wouldn't get my parents um, sick I should talked about it already so I'll put that clip in right here let me come over here because the dishwasher is really loud but 
wanted to let you guys know that um I had a wonderful time at home for winter break. I got to go home and be with my family, which was exciting. If you follow me on social media, you probably saw our matching pajama picture and all of the fun stuff. And then the second week, um, right at the top of the second week of break, that I was super excited to just be home and be with my family for extended time before having to come back for work. And your girl tested positive for, um, I don't know, are we allowed to say the word on YouTube? I feel like they're weird. So let me just put it on the screen. I tested positive for that. And it was super unexpected. I mean, literally, like I never would have guessed that that would happen, but it's totally possible, as we all know, because America, 2020. And it threw me for an absolute loop. You all know how I was feeling about the end of 2020 and December in general. December 2020 will live in infamy in my life for not good reasons. Um, so finding out that I was positive but I really wanted to stay home and just be with my family was one kind of scary because I didn't want to put my dad at risk. You all know he's on chemo and it just was like, I don't want to, yeah. So it was scary, like I was staying with my parents. It's like, okay, where do I go now? But then too, it was just like, really? Like, I needed my family in that time really bad. Like, I was in a very not good place at the end of December. So to to get that news and, you know, have to be wearing masks in my own house and all of that was just like, this is not fair. Like, this just doesn't feel fair. I ended up coming back here to um, Virginia immediately. Literally, like, I took a rapid test that Monday and um, it's, they called me like 20 minutes later with the results. And I went and packed my stuff up got my car and came back to Virginia, like literally in a flip of a second. I didn't really plan for that. That was not how I planned to spend my day, was driving five and a half hours on the road, but it was just like, it doesn't make sense. I pay rent at a place that's safe, has everything that I need um, for me to quarantine away from people, so I just came back. I didn't even listen to music on the car ride back, and those of you that know me know then I was clearly in not a good place if I was not listening to music on the way back, like literally five and a half hours in silence. So, I get back. Um, I was having groceries delivered, I stayed indoors, and um, just started taking um, vitamins and stuff. Because what's interesting, guys, is I didn't have like the typical symptoms. Like, I kind of was having some muscle pain um, before I found out, but it wasn't enough for me to be like, oh, shit. you know what I'm saying? Like, it just wasn't that. And I had a slight headache before I found out, but I have really bad sinuses and allergies, so I'm used to having headaches, I'm used to having migraines. Um, and it wasn't at that level, so it just kind of was like, okay. Um, but yeah, once I found out I was positive, it was like, oh, I guess these things are related. So, I was fine here. I did lose my taste and smell, which was the craziest, y'all, craziest thing ever. It's not, obviously, the worst of the symptoms. Like, obviously, people are dying in the hospital and on respir respirators. But, yeah, it, it really messed with my mind. Like, at first, it was kind of interesting. If I can say that, like it was kind of like, wow, I'm really chewing food and I know what this is supposed to taste like, but I don't taste it. Um, and my smell kind of like gradually and tastes really, like I was I was eating the day of, or the night before I found out and I could taste everything, like the meal was good, I didn't have those issues, but literally it was like, as soon as I came back, it was like slowly fading away, smell and taste. And I couldn't smell nothing at all. I was running around smelling candles, smelling hot sauce, like stuff that I'm like, I know if I can smell, like I would smell this and couldn't smell it, couldn't taste stuff. It was very weird to be chewing all this food that I knew was good and couldn't taste it. So after a few days, it really got to me and I was kind of emotional or like almost really had a panic attack one day because it's kind of like, this is, I can't wrap my, wrap my mind around this. Like this is weird and yeah, it was just weird. Thankfully, mine did not last. Some people still don't have their taste and smell, and they said it lasted them for months and weeks. Mine was pretty much gone for about a week and a half. Um, really a week solid. Last Saturday, I started having some of my taste come back and some of my smell come back. Um, and it's still on its way back, but I'm much better now, like, at this point. Um, yeah, I don't really notice it. Whereas before it was like, oh, I'm eating food and I don't taste or smell this and I hate it. Um, but I do want to show you guys, I took um, elderberry vitamins, gummies, actually. I was instructed, my mom, or my aunt is a nurse, and um, 
kind of gave us a heads up on what to use. I did elderberry gummies, because taking vitamins, I already take a lot of vitamins, so the gummies helped it get down. And elderberry is vitamin C and zinc. Um, which were two things that they were like, make sure you get that. So, um, then vitamin D3 is another one that I added to um, my regimen, and it's two two gummies and two gummies of those. So, eating those, and then every day I would have a cup of this immune support. It's literally like emergency, if you know emergency. Um, and you just add it to your water, and it's like fizzy, and you just make sure you drink it down. These don't taste the best, and the texture can be kind of gritty if you don't really like stir it up. But it was it wasn't the worst of course. And then it was just like hydrating, staying hydrated. So I drank a whole bunch of water. I had Gatorades, which I like never have Gatorades in my house, but it was kind of nice to have like full size Gatorades just waiting for me in my fridge. I probably will keep that up. Um, and I actually am still taking these, even though the good news. Where's my phone? The good news is. Your girl is negativo, okay? Negative! And I'm just grateful to the Lord that that's all it was. Um, as far as my symptoms, and that he has healed me, and that my taste and smell are back, and I'm just, I'm really grateful. Then, you might notice some different things behind me. I did end up going ahead and getting a new bookcase, and um, finally, like, I did a little extra decoration to my office and it was all inspired by the fact that my best friend with her crazy self went and got me a cricket y'all a cricket for christmas and i did not have the space at all in this small apartment to make room for it um if you remember my bookcase over here actually used to just be a small little six cube it was not anything that could handle anything extra. Literally, everything was full to capacity. So I ended up taking a trip to Ikea to update this space. I actually did a few things and built it all, so I'll put those clips in right here. Ooh, oh my gosh, look guys. Ah. <laughs> if you're new here, I randomly break out Okay, welcome. <laughs> A whole cricket, y'all. An entire cricket. Wow, it's so beautiful. Okay, the goal is office stuff. So, but I did want to go through the showroom just to look at these shelves that I'm looking at. Look at these shelves that I'm looking at. Mm, there's a better way to say that. I was looking at these, but I don't think these are it. I was looking at just getting a double of this, but I'm not sure. Okay, so I'm stuck between this one. I like the exposed um, parts for like decor, which I'm not really gonna use much decor, but I kinda like that part. But I also love this one as well. And I don't know what to decide. I need a man, Lord. I need a husband. <sighs> Do y'all see me breaking a whole sweat? <sighs> My question is, how on earth am I gonna get these things up these stairs of my apartment building? <sighs> Riddle me that one. Oh, I did it. Somehow I got all of this stuff in here to the top floor. I probably have a puddle of sweat on my back. 
I don't work out, okay? So this was just, this was more workout. I carried that. That was 73 point something pounds. And I was able to do it because I turned it sideways and like carried it like this with both my hands. And I stopped on every, after every flight of stairs and put it on the rail because your girl was about to pass out. And that was the last thing I brought because it was underneath everything. And then I bought these, which this alone, this has to be 70 something as well. This is the locked filing cabinet that rolls under my desk. And then these are the shelves um, and doors for that. Uh, I mean the drawers and the doors for that. And then this is a lamp that I got, a tall lamp for my office space so that I can get rid of this lamp, the short lamp, and have more actual desk space. My desk looks so crazy right now, oh my gosh. And then I had to buy, I'm so mad, I left my big Ikea bag, I have one of these already, I left it in the trunk. I didn't have anywhere to put all the small stuff and I had got something that was glass so I was like I'm not going to try to carry that stuff in a hand while trying to push a cart with all this like impossible. So I ended up just buying another one but they're only like 99 cents so it was fine. So yes I'm in and the worst part about all of this is now I have to build all this stuff. That is the one thing about Ikea. Don't nothing come put together. Don't nothing come ready. Nothing. Okay, Ikea said, that's all you, boo. You got it. You wanted to buy it, you got it. And I'm over here like. So yes, at 10.23 at night, I'm about to build all this stuff because at some point I have to do my writing, y'all. <laughs> is done sorry y'all it is a hot mess in my office right now but the shelf is put together I put the drawers on and the doors on this is very satisfying because it went together very easily but as you can see my drawer is still behind it and I have to go through and put all of my materials and things in the drawers and behind the doors and switch stuff out and all the things oh and the lamp I don't think I showed you guys this but I got a floor version of what I had on my desk actually the light from on top of my desk was from Target but this is pretty much the sister of that and um, has remote lights so it comes with this remote I can actually stick it to the wall if I want there we go so it's got this and y'all it's so cool so ready you can turn it on I left it on the white light go more bright I think it's at the max or dim it look at that oh so cool and then turn it back up bright. And then there's different settings of like yellow and white light. So you see that? It's like super yellow light. Oh my gosh. And then it's like a medium yellow light. And then it's that white crispy light. Y'all, how cool is that? And then the last thing I'm gonna share with you guys is there's a few things that inspired this change. Um, really the first is um, being able to document this, this season of my journey. Um, I don't always have time to sit down and, and journal like I used to do. And so this is kind of like my video journal, me being able to look back on the season of my life and remember how I was able to get through it, um, what the Lord did to get me through it. Um, I always say I wish I had started vlogging at the start of my college career because, man, oh my gosh, to document the things that the Lord did throughout this journey would have been nice in video form. I do have some of it in journal form, but um, yeah, that's kind of what this is going to be. So it's really for me to be able to look back over this journey. Um, it's also for consistency's sake. I told y'all about this dissertation. We're really in crunch time now. I literally have like 
by the end of next month really based on my schedule i'll be done with the document i'll be editing through march turning in things and then defending around end of march april if everything goes as planned if not i'm totally okay with things not going as planned but we're shooting for that plan okay so things are getting you know more intense i'm not gonna have a whole lot of time to do like super prepared you know sit down videos and all that kind of thing it's just much easier for me to just grab the camera pick it up record whatever's happening that week and yeah so i'm not getting rid of sit down videos when i have time and if it's possible i will be able to do them um and still will do them but that's just kind of what what we're doing now so i hope you stick around for that i hope you enjoy that um it's gonna take a little bit of getting used to as far as like the angles and where to set cameras in this house and all that kind of stuff for vlogging but i'm excited i think it's gonna be cool to just kind of document what's going on so hopefully this will lead to some super dope consistency um i'm gonna do my best you guys it's really exciting and i want to see this platform continue to grow you all have been so faithful even throughout all of my absences and all of that to the point where like we're almost at 5k we're over the hump toward 5k so listen i'm i'm grateful for your support already um but i'm excited to see what else god wants to do with this platform so i really hope you'll stick around for that if this is your first time again i say welcome and i hope you will hit the subscribe button and yeah just tune in for this journey this is gonna be a wild ride and i just can't wait to see it come to fruition y'all i got my hope back oh thank you lord <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Y'all know. Y'all already know. I love you guys, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.